How have you made a rude person's day worse? I watched a lazy shopper park their grocery cart right behind another person's car instead of putting it in the cart return. I got out of my car. Ran up and moved the cart and put it behind her car. I then ran off and watched her have to get back out of her car since she couldn't back out. And then finally proceed to put up her cart the right way. I felt like a champion of the people. Saw a woman with her husband toss a squash into a cooler that they apparently didn't want anymore. As they walked away. I picked up the squash and followed them. They left their cart for a moment so I put the squash into their cart and walked away. She had a dumbfounded look on her face when she noticed it back in her cart. I put her in a very noticeable place and proceeded to put it on a nearby shelf and they walked away. I of course took it off the shelf and followed them again. Doing a drive by drop off of the squash. At this moment my girlfriend got fed up with my antics and made me stop. I would have done it until they gave up and bought the squash. Or I was caught. I'm very easily amused. I was riding my bike to work one day and when crossing a street, in the legal zone with a walk sign, a woman ran me over. She drove through the crosswalk looking to turn right and ran right into me. She stopped after I got bumped hard enough by her fender to take a spill and have some bruising all down my side. She gave me an exasperated. My bad wave and continued to talk on her cell phone. Ignoring me as I picked myself and my bike up. I walked right up to her open window. Grabbed her cell phone from her ear. And chucked it into a nearby parking lot as hard as I could. I swear that was the farthest I have thrown anything in my life. She gaped at me in shock as I struggled back onto my bike and slowly rode off fuming yet victorious. Then a half mile farther on my trek I got attacked by a goose. Not my best day. TLDR. Woman hit me with her car. Got revenge. Got attacked by goose. Edit. Those who have pointed out that riding a bike in a crosswalk is not legal are correct. In this particular instance it was not a sidewalk but a designated bike path. They had a normal walk signal at an intersection. But I believe it was still acceptable to ride across as it was a bike specific path. I could be wrong though. I work at a retail location that does return strictly only with tags on the clothes. There was one customer who was exceptionally rude to our staff. She called both women working dumb bitches. Which pissed me off. She came up to the register telling me she'll probably return all the things she's buying and is just trying to impress her friends. So I took all the tags off the clothes when I was bagging everything. I better the world that day. Was in theater quite a few years back. Some action flick. I think Jean-Claude Van Damme, and there were two 16 year old or so kids in front of me who were, in turn, behind a group of smaller kids, say 12 or so. I was alone, the wife hates action movies. I quickly noticed that the two older kids were f***ing with the younger ones, kicking their seat bags, throwing popcorn at them, flicking spit at them, the works. The theater was crowded so the little guys couldn't move. Finally one of the doucher teens leans forward and, I think, flicked one kid's ear. When the little kid turned around to glare. Flicking doucher teen says. You got a problem with that. Shithead. His friend guffaws. When the flick master sits back. I haul off and give him a decent slap upside the head. Knocking his noggin into his friends. They both turn and half jump out of their seats. And then pause when they see me. I am 6-2. 225 pounds. I stood up and said. You got a problem with that? Shitheads? They looked at each other and then turned to sit back down. Uh -huh. I said. You sit there. And I'm gonna make you as miserable as you've been making those guys in front of you. They shuffled on out of the theater. The younger kids all turned and said thank you. Sir. Double quote. TLDR bitch slapped some teen bullies. Became action hero. This is, Igatago TT story, HTTP. www. Reddit. Comma justice porn comments zz0c9 slash deal with it. But it's too good not to share here. Comma heard this from a DJ in my hometown. He's pushing his cart of groceries out of the store and over to his car when a woman pulls into the handicapped spot in front of the store. No placard. 
No handicapped plates. Jumps out of the car without so much as a limp and heads into the store. He gives her the stink eye about taking up a handicapped spot. And she snarls deal with it and sashays into the store. Comma the guy is pissed. He sees a couple of cops who were leaning against their cars talking. They hadn't seen it. So he goes over and tells them the story. They smile and say they'll handle it. He puts his groceries in his car. And as he's pushing his cart back to the store to put it in the rack, good guy DJ, he sees the cops have blocked the lady's car with theirs. And were leaning against their car waiting for her. Comma as he's putting his cart in the rack the lady comes out of the store with her purchase. Sees the cops. And almost shits. The fine in CA is $250 500 for a first offense. Close bracket. Comma priceless. He walks over to her and says I dealt with it. Double quote. I was working as a manager in a big nightclub about a year ago. I don't wear a uniform. But have a radio and run the security team. The venue has a great smoking section that looks out onto the street. One night the venue was packed so I did my usual row making sure that there were no problems. However it was too packed to walk through the smoking section. So I walked down the street instead but could still very easily see into the smoking section. One guy stares me down. Then calls me over. And starts swearing at me for no reason and telling me that pieces of shti like you could never even get into a venue like this. He obviously had no idea I was the manager. However I didn't want to have security get into a fight inside with him. The guy kept telling me he would punch me out etc. And was clearly trying to look macho to impress someone. So I agreed and told him to come and meet me outside and he could even have a free swing. He puts his drink down. Takes off his jacket and storms outside. Once he walked outside. I walked back inside and told security not to let him back in. The look on his face when he realized I ran the place was priceless. And then the realization that he couldn't get back into the club was amazing. It was the easiest and most fun removal I have ever done. I work in local theater. And we have a lot of rude. Awful women who are part of local ballet schools come through our venue who are the mothers of the dancers. Once this woman rang up wanting seats to an almost sold out ballet performance that had been on sale for 4 months the day before the show. And did nothing but abuse me for 5 minutes because she left buying them too late. Whined about how she shouldn't have to pay to for her kids. Whined that we should get a bigger venue, it seats just under 500. Then put me on hold while she rang three of her relatives to see if they wanted seats too. She was positively awful. The seats I was about to sell her were the only ones in the theater left. And they were good seats. While I'm on hold a grandma of one of the ballerinas comes to the desk and asks if we have any seats left. As she'd been in hospital and couldn't buy them earlier. But said she'd understand if we were booked out. I put the phone with the on hold music down and sold this old lady the last seats for the show. And gave her an invite to our next year's dance season for her granddaughter and herself. So she'd know exactly when all the important dates were coming. She thanked me over and over. And she's now one of our regulars and brings her grandkids to our shows. Two minutes after the old lady leaves the BTCH on the other end finally takes me off hold and says she wants the remaining seats that we have left. I tell her sorry we've just sold out while you had me on hold I'm afraid. Better luck next next year. Anything else I can help you with? Dot. She was choking with rage on the other end of the phone. It was fantastic. I volunteer at my university. Safe walks and all that jazz. We are required to report suspicious and illegal activity. Witnessed a woman driving a Mercedes Benz across a lawn to bypass the parking gate. Tearing up this gorgeous lawn. Being an ex-landscaper. And mad at some rich BTCH being too cheap for parking. I am not amused. So we reported it to the parking authority. They show up while the chick is still getting crap out of her trunk. Box her in. And start writing a ticket. She ended up driving away. Over a curb. Peeling her bumper off in the process. Made me kinda happy inside. Why would she drive away to get out of a ticket? They've got your license plate. So you've got your ticket. The parking authority aren't going to go on a high speed chase with you and their golf cart. 
came out of the supermarket one day to find that someone hit my car. A stranger told me the person who hit my car got out, looked at the damage, and parked at the other end of the lot. I went to where the car was parked, and confirmed, paint matched, it was the car that hit mine. Flattened all four tires, and left a note on their windshield telling them to have a nice day. Trashy. Jerry Springer guess looking young lady at Toys R Us on Black Friday tried to cut in the massive 90 minute line and threw a fit when she was told to go to the end of the line. She yelled at the employees and threw her products into the face of the security guards as she was told to leave. I started a slow clap. To which she replied. Shrieking. Fuck y'all. Op. You are glorious. This guy walks up to my work and asks hey. Kid. Where the FCK is voodoo donuts. I'm 27. He swore in front of a child nearby and was loudly smacking his gum. Instead of sending him to voodoo donuts which was only a few blocks away. I gave him directions that would lead him under the Burnside bridge where the homeless. The prostitutes and the drug addicts congregated. Went to go get my exhaust fixed. No big deal pothole poked a hole in it. When I went to go pick up the car a couple hours later. I am treated to a woman screaming at the guy behind the counter she's positively foaming because she has been waiting nearly 30 minutes for her car to be fixed. She even goes so far as to call the guy an insignificant lazy immigrant. Guy looks at her looks at me. Throws me my keys here you go. Your magnum's ready no charge. Double quote. Looks her directly in the eyes. Looks like it's going to be more expensive than we originally thought. Would you like us to call you a cab? Double quote. I returned shortly afterwards with pizza for the shop. TLDR. FCK bitches. Get pizza. When people are rude to me at my fast food job. I practically overflow their cup with ice. I'm a little passive aggressive. I also do this. If they can get the straw in the cup without physically forcing it into the ice I didn't give them enough. I knew a girl that had a woman who was very rude multiple times demanding light ice. Apparently light ice wasn't good enough for her and she threw the cup at the cashier berating her for being such an idiot she can't even get something as simple as light ice right. She made a new cup. Put 4 ice cube on it. And pressed the button to fill for the appropriately sized cup. Leaving about 1 stroke 3 of the glass empty. Then said sorry. The machine still filled the cup the same amount. Regardless of how much ice. Manager backed her up. Don't FCK with the people that handle your food. Just the other day I was at a Chinese buffet and the three people in the booth next to me were questioning the waitress. She appeared to be Asian Hispanic. About voting for the president and who she planned to vote for. She had trouble understanding them and communicating that she could not vote. They immediately began taunting her that she shouldn't be here if she couldn't vote. That she didn't even know who the president of the United States is. And then took a picture and said they would post it on Facebook. I later found out the waitress was on a school visa and couldn't vote but was unable to convey that to them. After the waitress walked off. One of the girls at the table, the one who took the pic. Looked up and asked me where I worked because I looked familiar. When I replied the local university in the social work department. She commented that she had recently been in my office to apply to our program. To which I replied yes. I remember you and I'm also on the admissions committee. Followed with a wink. The color drained from her face and she knew she was screwed. Calm as a bitch. Whenever I am getting tailgated on the highway I like to turn on the windscreen washer water jet so the water sprays back onto the car behind me. It's a lot like spitting on them and if I'm already speeding and not in the fast lane then they have no reason to tailgate. I was a motorcycle courier through uni. People throwing lit cigarettes out the window were an occasional hazard. It was a sin of a bitch to take one in the face and once I got one land inside my jacket as I was heading down the freeway. If I was filtering through stop traffic and saw one. I used to be flexible and fast enough to stop next to it. Pick it up and throw it back through the driver's window onto the back seat. I did that a few times and a couple of them I managed to tell them I thought they'd drop something. So I worked customer service for 4 years this is my favorite one. One Saturday this guy comes through a decently busy but nothing we haven't seen before. 
The guy rolls down his window and he just reeks of beer. It's 11. 0 a.m. First thing he does is start getting rude about how we didn't wash his car well the last time he was through. Now I was in a good mood at the time so I offered him a couple free air fresheners and told him I would take care of his car myself. I ring up the sale and return with a couple piece token air fresheners. It was at this point his wife who was in the back seat with their baby thanked me. The husband losses his sht at her saying she is not to talk out of turn or unless spoken to first by a man and most of all don't you the no nigger I keep my composure send him on his way. I then called the cops told them what happened as far as the alcohol and gave them the make. Model. Yeah. Color. The direction the guy turned once he left and his license plate number. TLDR. Me. 1. Drunk racist with trash dude. 1. 1 DUI that is. Edit. I have more where that came from if you also desire. I was walking down the street smoking a cig. When I see a woman eating on the sidewalk patio eyeballing me. I was still 30 feet away and she was waving her hand in front of her nose and pointing for me to cross the street. Instead I walked past her and managed to cut a nice audible fart right next to her as I kept walking. I was proud. At the end of a long commute home. After a hard week. I went to a Miller's cookies store just before closing time. As I walked up to the counter. Not 5 feet from it. Some guy ran from behind me and tried to cut in front of me. The girl working there insisted I was first. Thank you. Outrage at what that guy tried to do. And noticing there was not much cookies left. I said hi. I'll take absolutely everything you have. Cost me close to $60. But it was so worth it. Jackass in the gym once was making some kids of about 14 feel crap telling them to put some man weights on the bar and to stop being pea size and girls and real lame cliche shit. Anyway every time they find a new workout he comes and repeats the process lifting bigger and trying to embarrass them. I was annoyed but tired and let it slide. Only it happened again. Same kids came in two days later and he was there also. He starts doing exactly what he did before. Well that was it. I walked up right next to him doubled what he was lifting and repeated everything he had said to the kids in the last 5 minutes while, Bert starring, http, www, youtube, com watch, v equals z chi 5 sit stk, him. He quickly moved on and went to another exercise. But I wasn't done the kids were looking at me like I was Batman. I followed the guy to the next 3 exercises and did as he had done saying the same things. Then he left. Never saw him at the gym again but those boys sure came back and have been making steady gains for over a year now. TLDR put a gym show off douchebag in his place. Became gym Batman. I was crossing the street and some guy tried to run over me. Then he stopped his car to yell at me. I was a law school student at the time. And cited some, imaginary, section of the state vehicle code at him. He stared at me for a few seconds. Then said. Shut up. Girl. And drove away. It boggles my mind when I hear about people almost hitting people with their cars. Then getting mad at that person. Which apparently is not uncommon. I've made mistakes while driving. And I'm always extremely apologetic when in the wrong. WTF people. There's a very specific type of person who will be a raging hemorrhoid in public and then defend that behavior. No matter how obviously rude or morally reprehensible. I encountered a guy just last week who called me every name under the sun for asking that he listen to his music with headphones in. As it's considered rude to do otherwise in a public space such as the Starbucks we were in. If he'd just apologized and complied. I wouldn't have put him on my mental no fly list for the future, and luckily for him. I happen to work there. I apparently made this asshole 65 cent coffee wrong at McDonald's. And he asked me to make IT again and started to go off on me. I almost snapped on him. But I instead threw my hands up and told my manager to handle it. The manager talked to him and came back to me and said the guy's a DCK and comes in all the time and does this just make him another coffee. So I walked to the drive through window with this asshole fuming in his car next to me talking to himself about how f-king long this is taking. Ect. 
Suo I picked up the half full pot of coffee I made no more than 4 minutes ago and dumped that shit out. I proceeded to brew a whole new pot of coffee. I saw this made him extremely angry so I went to the window and told him that it's going to be another 5-6 minutes because that last pot was bad. He then peeled out of drive through like an asshole without a coffee. TL. DR. Old people are fking assholes. Every year. My dad would wrap a month's worth of trash as gifts. He made them look all nice and professional. He'd drive to the bad section of town. Where the major mall was in town with all the presents in the bed of his truck. He'd go grab a coffee at the shop across the street and wait for the hoodlums to steal the Christmas gifts. Some douchebag in a Humvee decided to park at a handicap spot at a Kroger. I was young at the time and out riding with my dad. A repo man. In a repo truck. He towed the Humvee to a parking spot on the opposite side of the parking lot. We waited till the owner came out and looked around in disbelief. She thought someone stole her car. My dad drove up to her. Rolled down the window and said are you okay? Miss? Woman said. My car was stolen. My dad replied well. Maybe you shouldn't have parked it in a handicap spot and drove off. At a pedestrian crossing on a major road in one of the wealthiest parts of town. The little man goes green for me to cross however I see one of those 4WD vehicles that has never been off road and I can tell the driver isn't going to stop. Sure enough he runs the red and also he can turn into the 7 11 50 meters beyond the crossing. He would have happily run me down just to get to the convenience store a few seconds earlier. He gets out of his car with his wife and several kids. I walk up to him. Tell him he almost killed me. He is selfish and a few other colorful tidbits too. He is speechless throughout. I finish up by pointing to his kids and saying now explain to your kids why you've just been abused in this manner and head on my way. Waiting in line to vote a day. I stood next to an Asian man and we engaged in a conversation about the excitement surrounding this presidential election. He struck me as a very well educated person with interesting insights about this election season. When it was his turn at the registration desk. The woman there asked him if he spoke English and if he did. Would she be able to understand him? I spoke up and said that he spoke English a whole lot better than she did and wasn't anywhere near as rude as she is. Last election I witnessed the grumpy old lady working the polls at the VFW hall in her patriotic kitten shirt repeat I cannot understand you. You are not making sense. I cannot understand you. To an extremely well dressed. Well mannered black guy in khakis and a polo. He looks at the guy sitting next to her and that guy is staring at the patriot next to him with the most incredible what the fuck. Face I have ever seen. Dude in the polo then looks at me. And in unison all three of us began to laugh. That is the American spirit. Not me but when I was working at a car dealership we had a bunch of cars get their wheels stolen one night. A police officer was in writing a report and a lady came in screaming that the cop was blocking her from getting to the service drive through She was screaming at the top of her lungs creating a huge scene. The cop calmly walks out and moves his car. Comes back in and finishes his report. Then he walks back out and drives his car to the end of the street and parks. The lady comes out and gets in her car and leaves. He pulls her over for having her wipers on without her headlights on.